Hi everybody, this is Christina with Let's Plan Pretty Things. And today is not gonna be a planner video. This video is about a new type of journal that I've come across and fell so in love with it. It is so much fun and I just had to share all of you um, this super fun way to be creative and it's messy and doesn't have to be cute and pretty uh, like my planner but this is like a total opposite kind of thing and it's just so much fun I just wanted to share a little bit with you um, I am not completely finished with this but I will show you a few of the pages that I did do this is called a wreck this journal and it's by Carrie Smith and she has a whole series of these journals um, this is the only one that I have um, me and my three daughters are all working on the same journal my husband has the same journal too only his is um, they have three different covers for actually four different covers for this journal the insides are all the same um, they do have four styles though this one is just the black one um, me and my girls have the black one and they also have like a red plaid one they have one that looks like it's covered in silver duct tape and then they also have one that looks like it's covered or made from a paper bag a brown paper bag um, my husband has the one that looks like silver duct tape. He's using it um, for like to, what do you call it, put all of his anger towards it because he drives all day long for his work. And with the road rage that he comes across and just the stupid drivers out there that he does come across, he just likes to take it out on this book instead of taking it out on the people or anybody else. So he's having fun with that and um, so he takes this along with him in his truck when he drives um, for work. But for me and my girls it's more of an artistic thing. We um, do watercolors and paint and draw and do things like that in this book. So let me just get started and show you with what I have done so far. Um, I do have little sticky tabs. Um, these are just marking pages that I need to get to um, for certain things or um, there are pages that I started and um, still need to continue and finish them. So they're just little tabs for that for me. So let's get started. Um, inside here it just says what day I started the journal and then I just did some coloring we've been doing a lot of watercolors in this book um, <clears throat> this is just the um, we just did some watercolors here um, this part is just like um, it's like a lost and found page it's got your name here and then on the bottom here where I have it covered up it's got your address and phone number and on the very bottom it says note if found flip to a page randomly follow the instructions and then return the book so every page has a different prompt as to what to do to the page and since it's called wreck this journal you're basically supposed to do what it says on each page and wreck it the way it's tells you, telling you to wreck it. Um, since we are doing it a little bit more artistically, we are putting our little spin on the instructions, kind of following the instructions, but doing it in an artistic way and not in a not so much destructive way, if that makes any sense. Um, I just did some watercolors here and here. And I also, um, a lot of these, the pages I did watercolors on, I covered in clear packing tape just to protect it. Um, this is a page that says add your own page numbers. So we just, you have to add the page numbers to all the pages. I am a Seahawks fan, so I stamped this page with the number 12. 
and colored them in the Seahawk colors. Um, it says to crack the spine. I drew a crack here and I cracked the spine to make it very loved looking. Um, this one says to leave this page blank on purpose. Um, I, on the next page, doing the next page, I accidentally ripped it. I didn't want to rip it, so I thought it'd be funny just to add a Band-Aid and said, oops, I ripped it. So that's just why that's there. This page is partially done. Um, I have stood here with my shoes and kind of moved it around, and that's when I ripped it. But I want to do it some more with a little bit dirtier shoes when it starts raining a lot. That way I can get a better print because you can barely see it at the moment. And then I did some watercolors of some grass. This page, I also did some watercolors. It says to pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. Um, I don't drink coffee. I drink Pepsi or water and stuff like that. So I thought Pepsi would be the closest to coffee because it's brown. But you can barely see. I poured my coffee on here, or my Pepsi on here, and you can barely see it. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit more work on this. But the rest of the actual colors is watercolor. And you see like some dirty splashes of pink paint. That's because on the outside, I uh, watercolored it with pink and purple and then drew with my Sharpie and the polka dots. This one is covered in tape because I'm finished. It says poke holes in this page using a pencil. And I did that. Up. And then I made them look like little donuts. And then I just drew a large donut on this side and did this with markers and watercolors. Um, this one I haven't done yet. Um, this one says, this page is for handprints or fingerprints. Get them dirty and press them down. And I used three different watercolors and I used my thumb to make these clouds. I really liked how that one turned out. This one I just finished last night and I did watercolors in a rainbow and um, it just says to color this entire page, which I did. And then I just put a little um, piece of the Over the Rainbow song from The Wizard of Oz. This page we are going to be doing soon. This page um, is says press leaves and other found things so me and my daughters went for a walk in our neighborhood and found all these pretty things we didn't ruin anybody's flowers we found petals that had fallen um, and stuff like that so we um, were able to pick those up and I just wrote with my sharpie our neighborhood this page says scratch you whoops scratch using a sharp object and I used a fork to scratch in the page and then I just did some watercolors over them to make them pretty. You can see I scratched really hard. I think a little too hard, but it's okay. I'm supposed to wreck the journal, right? I haven't done these pages. This one says tear strips and rip it up. So I used some of my um, tapes pretty tapes and I then I ripped it and then underneath it says to glue staple or tape these pages together so up here it's taped together and then I just doodled on that one I have not done this page yet or this page or this page let's see I did this one it says tongue painting eat something colorful candy and lick the page so I had a blue raspberry dum-dum sucker and then we licked the page and my tongue was blue um let's see what else did I do I don't think I did anything I did this one tie a string to the spine of this book swing it wildly and let it hit the walls I did that and not much happened to my book I don't know I didn't do that yet. I did this one. Climb up high and drop the journal. You might have seen my picture on my um, Instagram page. 
But um, I did drop the journal from the top of my stairs down to the bottom of the stairs. Um, I didn't do these yet. Um, this one is half done. It says make a paper chain. And I colored the strips. I just didn't cut it out yet and make my chain yet. This one's a work in progress. It says collect fruit stickers here. Stickers you find on bought fruit. And so this is all I have so far. This one is also a work in progress. I just painted this one. But I still need to cover this page using only office supplies. This one is done. Um, this one I just made up. It says make a mess with my nail polish. So I just um, brushed nail polish all over it and drew this heart design and wrote beautiful. And then this one says bring this book in the shower with you. I haven't done this yet, but I did um, decorate the page with watercolors. I did not do that yet. This one I did start too. It says rub here with dirt. I drew a picture of pig pen and then I just have to rub this with dirt. This is my um, test page for pens, paints, markers, or art supplies. So, so far I've just done colored pencils and some watercolors and some a few pens. Um, let's see. This one says, trace the things in your bag or pockets and let the lines overlap. So I traced my wallet, my lotion, a hairband, my nail glue, and my nail file. Here's the bottom of my keys, um, my phone, my lipstick, my sunglasses, and my compact. And then I just um, colored it with my watercolor pencils and um, decorated it that way. Um, this one says, scribble wildly using only borrowed pens. Document where they were borrowed from. I didn't document where I got it, but this is my daughter's pen and I just asked her if I could borrow it really quick. And I did a scribble. Um, let's see. Here's one, it is, says, make prints using an ink pad and cut fruits. And we actually, I, well I crossed out vegetables and put fruit, and I didn't use an ink pad, we used um, acrylic paint. And we, I went to the store and found star fruit and thought that would be awesome. So I cut it up and the shape of it is stars, so we just used different colored um, paint for that. That turned out really cute. Um, this one says cut through several layers. I just colored that pink and then I used my little tiny Teresa Collins um, heart punch and punched through a whole bunch of pages. This one says infuses page with the smell of your choosing and I used this uh, Victoria's Secrets um, spray, it looks like this, called Beauty Rush, and the scent was Candy Baby, and I drew a little cotton candy here, added some twine to hang this over, and then this is going to, this, I sp we're going to spray this with the scent. Um, I did have it sprayed on the page, but I wanted to protect the watercolors, so... I covered it in my tape, and then I'm going to spray this with the scent instead. This page says to color outside of the lines. And so this is the image, and then I painted outside of the circle. And I just put a little quote in there. It says, I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. So this is like a blue and purple watercolors, and I just left this white to be like the moon. Um, this one says, close your eyes, connect the dots from memory. So I looked at this, and I actually did pretty good doing it with my eyes closed. I got it pretty spot on, but this is still a work in progress. I'm wanting to decorate this page a little bit more. 
Um, also, another work in progress, collect your pocket lint and glue it here. And this is just some string from my blue jeans. This one says, trace your hand. So I traced my hand um, doing like a heart shape. And I added these stickers here. And then just did some watercolors and then covered it in tape to protect it. This one is also a work in progress. Document a boring event in detail. So I did that. I just have to finish drawing and then um, watercoloring. This one is one of my favorites. It says, create a nonstop line. And I did that using my hot glue gun and some um, really cute yarn. I decorated the background with black and white stripes. And then I just wrote out the word love with my um, pink yarn and made some hearts. And it's actually all one nonstop line from the start to finish. That turned out really cute. Let's see, what else do I have? Um, there's this one. It says, hide this page in your neighbor's yard. And me and my daughter did this one. We tore out the page and we crumpled it up and stuck it in the dirt in our neighbor's yard. And then the next morning, um, we went and got it back out. As you can see, it's dirty. And we just taped it back in the book. Um, this one is... Um, also a work in progress. It says doodle over top of this page. I um, stamped it with one of the girl stamps by Prima. And then I just did some paper piecing here. If I still need to do some watercolors on it. Um, this one. Doo -doo -doo. It says write a list of more ways to wreck this journal. So I did this and hopefully I will be trying those in this journal on some of the blank pages. Um, this one I did do is this close the journal, write, scribble something on the edges, which I did. I watercolored on the edges, but I also want to um, do that on this page too. Just, just something extra, I guess. This one is horrible um, picture of me, but it says to sleep with the journal and describe your experience here. This is supposed to be a watercolor um, portrait of myself sleeping, and um, but it's horrible. Anyways, um, I just journaled about that here. I think that's pretty much it. But I also, and I love how the overlap of the watercolors is messy on the book. I just love that. And I super, super love how chunky it's getting. I just love holding it. It just, I don't know. I just love this. But I did want to get another book. And I was going to get another Carrie Smith book um, called Mess. But I found this one. This one doesn't have an author. But it has 240 pages of fun and creative tasks to complete. And it is, I, I went through the whole book and read all the pages. And they're pretty much all different than this one. And it's just so fun. This one's called Rip It, Write It, Draw It. And the pages are like white. And each page tells you to do something different. Um... There are some really cool ones in here. And this one, like these ones, the Carrie Smith ones, these ones I got, you can get them at Barnes & Noble for $15. Um, you can also find probably the black ones, these um, main ones here, um, like at Target. They have them for $12. Um, you can find them on Amazon or Walmart.com for uh, like $12. But, um, yeah, I went to Barnes & Noble because they have all of them, her whole series. So there was more selection, and it was $15. But this one I found also at Barnes & Noble, but it was one of the, you know how they have all those bargain books? And this was one of the bargain ones, and it was, it's normally 15 I think, 
$15.99, but the bargain price was only six something. So it was under $7 and it's got tons, 240 pages in here. And it's just so much fun. I don't even know. I can't even say how much fun these are, but there's one in here. There's a couple in here that are just stand out. This one's cute. Place a sticker, any kind, in the center of this page, and now draw a story or background around the sticker, and then name the masterpiece. I mean, if you like to just be creative with watercolors or just coloring or drawing, it's just so much fun. Um, drip candle wax on this page and leave it. I mean, okay, you know. Um, page for your fortunes. Um, there was another page in here. Oh, this one. Um, make a treasure map on these pages and remember that the X marks the spot is in red. So you can make a treasure map. I mean, it's just, there's just so much stuff in this book. I mean, I think this book, which was cheaper, has a lot more prompts than this one does. And this one was is a blast to do. So I'm thinking this one's going to be just as fun, even maybe more fun, because there's more things to do in here. But I will show you once I start this one. I just got this yesterday. So once I start doing some pages, I will do a video showing you my progress on it. But yeah, these books are so awesome. And um, you got to try them. They've been around for a while, but I don't know. I love scrapbooking. I love being nice and neat and, um, you know, doing that sort of thing. But it's also fun to be the opposite and be messy and do um, mixed medias and watercolors and, um, you know, try to wreck the book as much as you can without wrecking the book. I mean, I don't know. I just think it's so much fun. So I just think that I wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully maybe you guys will enjoy it too while, you know, like I said, I'm doing this with my daughters. So, um, it can be something you do with your kids. I mean, boys love it. Girls love it. Um, there's YouTube videos of kids showing their pages and how they do it. So, it's just a lot of fun. So I just wanted to recommend these books, highly recommend these books. If you um, just feel like breaking out and wrecking a book or breaking out into a different genre other than scrapbooking um, or planning. And hope you guys enjoy this video and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for this video. And subscribe and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.